Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Breaking Russia halts cooperation with U.S. and Syria, citing U.S. support for ISIS, will intercept any aircraft. By Rachel Blevins. Following the United States' decision to shoot down a Syrian warplane, Russia has spoken out in support of the Syrian government, and has announced that it will shoot down any U.S. warplanes in its airspace. The Russian Ministry of Defense released a statement announcing that it is halting cooperation with the U.S. and its allies in the framework of the Memorandum on the Prevention of Incidents and Ensuring Air Safety in Syria following the coalition's downing of a Syrian warplane on Sunday. In the areas of combat missions of Russian air fleet in Syrian skies, any airborne objects, including aircraft and unmanned vehicles of the U.S.-led International Coalition, located to the west of the Euphrates River, will be tracked by Russian ground and air defense forces as air targets. The Russian Defense Ministry also called for a thorough investigation into the coalition's decision to shoot down the Syrian government's military aircraft, noting that the incident cynically violates the sovereignty of the Syrian Arab Republic. What is it then, if not an act of aggression, an act directly in breach of international law? Russia's deputy foreign minister Sergei Ryabkov told journalists in Moscow, quoted by Russia's real news agency. If you want, it's actually help for the terrorists the U.S. is fighting, declaring that they are conducting a counter-terrorism policy, the deputy foreign minister added. In the statement, the ministry said the U.S. Air Force had committed an act of military aggression against Syria and it referred to the incident as a conscious failure to comply with the obligations under the Memorandum on the Prevention of Incidents and Ensuring Air Safety in Syria. The command of the coalition forces did not use the existing communication channel between the Air Command's Evaluated Air Base, in Qatar, and the Qmimim Air Base to prevent incidents in Syrian airspace. Colonel Ryan Dillon, a spokesman for the American-led task force, told the New York Times that the U.S. will continue to conduct air operations, despite Russia's warnings. We are going to continue to conduct operations throughout Syria, providing air support for coalition and partnered forces on the ground, Dillon said. As the Free Thought Project reported, the U.S.-led coalition claimed responsibility for the attack on Sunday, in a statement that blamed the Syrian government and claimed its military aircraft was targeting the Syrian Democratic Forces near Raqqa. At 6.43 p.m., a Syrian regime Su-22 dropped bombs near SDF fighters south of Tabqa and, in accordance with rules of engagement and collective self-defense of coalition partnered forces, was immediately shot down by a US F-A-18E Super Hornet. Syria has been adamant about the fact that its military was targeting ISIS fighters in the land surrounding Raqqa, the militant group's self-proclaimed capital. This attack comes at a time when the Syrian Arab army and its allies are advancing in the fight against ISIS terrorists who are being defeated in the Syrian desert in more ways than one, the Syrian military said in a statement. On this day, every milestone in history selected for you wiki images. June. 20. 1214 The University of Oxford receives its royal charter. Samuel Morse receives the patent for the telegraph. Last week, a Syrian lawmaker accused the U.S. of directly transporting at least 120 ISIS militants to safety, before beginning an attack on the city that has included reports of illegal chemical weapons use, including white phosphorus. While the United States has claimed its purpose is to eliminate ISIS from the region, Russia and Syria have claimed to have the same purpose. The U.S.-led coalition's decision to shoot down a Syrian warplane is especially notable, because of the fact that the aircraft was targeting an area that the U.S. has been targeting with a barrage of airstrikes in recent weeks. Russia and Syria have both accused the U.S. of aiding ISIS and with Russia now supporting Syria to the extent that it is threatening to view U.S. warplanes as targets, it serves as a reminder that rather than helping to defeat a common enemy, the U.S. is laying the groundwork for a new, and concerning conflict between the two superpowers. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.